Hello Aquarius, this is your X reading for the 24th through the 30th, January 24th through the 30th. Oh, oh, wow, okay. It's your X reading, like I said, I'm looking at this Five of Pentacles and this Ace of Pentacles. A lot of you are wanting to come out of the coal with somebody and wanting to start over again. Um, a lot of you are wanting to, you know, maybe you realize that you did not give your all the first go round, and you know, you, you want to do this thing again, okay, for some of you, okay. So let's go ahead and see what's going on currently for my Aquarius friends. What's going on for my Aquarius currently? Aquarius. Yeah, a lot of you are studying a situation. Um, you're not really doing a whole lot of talking right now, but there are things that you have realized that I think you have plans to like take some action on something. You have plans to speak something here, okay? Something that you've learned, some information on, okay? Let's see what's going on with your ex. What's going on with Aquarius's ex? going on with Aquarius's ex currently. Hmm. Now, Aquarius, either your ex is um is a divorcee or either this is, you know, them currently since you guys have separated um you know willing to take you back for sure but i think they're waiting on some truth to be spoken here um because they do have the sword down so they're waiting on you to reveal something to them okay they don't want you just to come and sweet talk they want to hear some truth come out of your mouth whatever that means for you and keep in mind this energy can go vice versa okay what's going on currently between the two of you so let's see how you see your ex all right nine of cups maybe you see them as you know indulging in some things um having a good time but you know mostly i see this person as somebody that makes you happy they make you happy i think um this is something that you're realizing here. This is something that you're realizing. Maybe you think this person is trying to move on without you. You know, just be single and, and get their happy on. But I think this person is your wish fulfillment. They make you happy is what I'm getting here. Let's see <clears throat> how your ex perceives you. How does Aquarius's ex perceive Aquarius? Aquarius's ex, how do they perceive Aquarius? Hmm. I feel like this person thinks you're marriage material. For some of you, they think you're married already. And they just want you to tell them the truth about it. For sure. But this person wants to be in a relationship with you. They see a future with you. And I really feel like they want you to ask them to marry, to marry you. Maybe you guys have been together for a while. Maybe that's something that you kind of thought about. Um, that they were ready to get married. Maybe you weren't at the time. Um, maybe you still had some, some oats to sow. I mean, you know, maybe you just weren't ready. Hmm. Let's see how you feel about getting back with them. How does Aquarius feel about getting back with their ex? Hmm. I think you're you're for it. We have two wish fulfillment cards right here side by side with the star. I think a lot of you feel like this person's your destiny. 
that this is a path that you're supposed to take with this person that is written in the stars. I think this person provides some healing energy for you as well. Um, yeah. When you're around them, you feel good. Hmm. Let's see how your ex feels about getting back together. Very, the person that I see here strongly is Aries. Um, they may have some air in their chart as well. Um, strong, this is a strong situation. I feel like I've done this for Aquarius um, before. This reading is is very familiar to me. Let's see how your ex feels about getting back together. That's all I think about. This is what they want. This is their dream. Their dream is to be with you. I feel like, you know, the Nine of Cups is also like, you know, gluttony overdoing things here. And I feel like this person overdoes you. <laughs> they want to marry you. They want to be with you so badly that this is really all that they think about. They feel the same way that you feel as, as far as like, you know, you guys being together and possibly meant to be together. I think this is a feeling that both of you share. But this, per this person right here, you know, this is all that they think about. Hmm. Capricorn energy there. Let's see how you can speed up this reconcil this reconciliation. Help this situation along here. Strength. If this is something that you've been struggling with, um, whether or not this person is really for you, I think it's for you to stop struggling. Accept it. Do what you feel in your heart. Do what you feel makes you happy. If you feel like this person is who you're meant to be with, go with it. Don't fight it. Okay? Because I think a lot of you are kind of going back and forth. You know, you're thinking about it here for sure. But I think, you know, you, you're still kind of in disbelief or um, just maybe not wanting to just lock it in just yet. But um, they're waiting for you to lock it in, okay? Let's see what they can do to speed up this reconciliation here. What can Aquarius's ex do to speed up this reconciliation? Your cards are just wanting to jump out here. It's like, and I'm having to like really just hold them for real. Aquarius ex, what can they do? Mm, two cards. We have the Hermit and we have the Eight of Wands here. I think, you know, there there's something that this person does that you do not like. Maybe you can feel that they are a little um, obsessed with this situation and it kind of deters you a little bit. It's doing exactly the opposite of what they for it to do and it's kind of like pushing you away it's making you a little standoff which is what I'm feeling and I think they they just need to chill out here they need to chill out here um, and, and stop concentrating so much on you know trying to lock you into a commitment if that's what's happening um, trying to like really push you to see what it is that they see and I think they also um, maybe this person is in recluse right now and maybe you know maybe they are in this stage of like kind of not really ghosting but ignoring you possibly not speaking to you um and i think that's like a form of 
maybe it's a form of punishment. I'm, that's just what I'm getting. Um, or maybe it's a form of protection for themselves. Maybe they feel themselves like going overboard here with this devil energy. And they're just trying to pull back. But I feel like this person needs to communicate effectively, you know, how they feel, what they want, and then just let it go. Just let it go. And, you know, just let you decide, you know, what's best for you, what you think is best in this situation. Because, you know, you can't make somebody be with you. You can only put it out there and then, you know, put it in the universe and let it go. And what will be, will be. Okay? Let's see what is the potential outcome here for Aquarius and their ex. The potential outcome here. The Queen of Wands. Um... There's a fire sign here, I feel strongly. Somebody with strong fire in their chart. Um, I think this person, you know, they're, they're hiding behind a lot. And I feel like they come across very, very strong. But they're very sensitive as well here. And I feel like this person's going to come across um, kind of hard, maybe harsh. But that's not who they are inside. You know, a lot of times when fire signs are hurt, you know, they some of us put on this like this bravado. Uh, some of us may smile and laugh and act like everything's okay when it's not, you know. But I feel like, you know, this person is very attractive. Um, she knows what she wants. She will be there for you. She is a ride or die. So whatever you decide... I feel like um, this person is a decent person. This person is a very decent person. I feel like they could come off maybe a little strong at times. But um, I feel like she's good or he's good. Okay? And I feel like they're sad. I feel like they're really sad right now. Because they are hiding a lot. They're hiding a lot. Okay? And they really care about you. Um, you guys, that's the end of the reading. But I'm going to start doing an extended version of this reading. And when I get um, the potential outcome, if it's a positive card, I'm going to go ahead and pull um, a card or some cards to see if I can like narrow down a time frame of when things will happen. If you guys are willing to you know do the work and this is for you to just kind of realize um, that this is a person for you if that's what you want and you know really acknowledging that and going for it and this person to kind of address you know their obsessive tendencies um, maybe their brashness even and communicate effectively and not hide you know so um, that's what will happen and extend it. Okay. So that is what I have for you. And um, oh, when that happens, I will let you guys know. And then I will put a link where you can um, access that in the description box. Okay.